We're here at the uh, St. Louis Science Center's new special exhibition, Mummies of the World. People can expect to see an exhibition that's going to tell the tale about mummification across the globe. You're going to be able to see uh, several different real mummified remains on display. Most of the time when you have an exhibition, you're talking about objects. Uh, we don't want to refer to these as objects. These are people, and that's really important to us because they mattered during their lifetime, and they still matter in their death. We're going to treat them with as much respect as possible throughout your stay in the exhibition while still illuminating things about their lives. And that's kind of how we pay homage to them is by making sure that we don't forget during your experience that these were people. We try to treat them with respect and let them tell their own story about their lives, their culture that they came from, and a little bit about the scientific process of mummification as well. Mummies get a bad rap in pop culture because of the way that they're often depicted. And they're usually depicted as being a, similar to the Egyptian mummies that you'll find in this exhibition, where they are wrapped and it's a very uh, a procedural way of doing mummification. But that's not the only kind of mummy that there is, nor is it the only kind of mummy that you would see in this exhibition. You'll see mummies that were mummified by the use of different climates in order to enhance that mummification process. But none of them are going to look like those Egyptian mummies that you may be familiar with because of the different environments, different processes, and different cultures that led to their mummification. There's about 40 different mummies on display and not all of them are human. We actually have some animal mummies on display as well. That's because as mummification is a process, it happens naturally throughout the world. And we can talk about the way different environments affect the method of mummification from dry, arid environments or very cold environments. There are mummies from all around the globe, including South America, from the middle of Europe, and so on. And uh, we get to tell a lot of those tales that you might not normally hear about mummies. One of those tales that you might uh, not have heard before are going to be from the city of Vats, Hungary, where we have the Orlovitz family. They were found in a crypt in a church during a renovation. A wall was knocked down and they found over 250 bodies that had mummified naturally over time. It was never planned, it just happened that way. But we get to learn a little bit about the culture of that time period that they came from. We also found out that many of them were stricken with the disease tuberculosis, which helps us kind of understand how a disease like tuberculosis can spread throughout a population. This isn't just a cultural exhibition where we get to look at the different cultures and histories of different people. Mummification is a scientific process and it's really just about preservation. Taking a person or an animal and preparing them in a way or exposing them to a natural environment in a way where they do not decay naturally over time and instead are preserved for a much longer period of time. I think it's important to study mummies because we can not only learn a little bit more about the process of preservation that they went through, but we can learn a little bit more about ourselves. A lot of these cultures are historically important to modern civilization. We can learn a little bit about their diet, we can learn a little bit about their religion and how it affects us today, but also kind of peel back the layers of time and understand where we came from, and I think that helps frame where we are. Not all the mummies in here are ancient. You're going to find several of them that are a lot more modern. And in fact, uh, there's one mummy in this exhibition that's from the 1990s. It was part of an experimental process to see how much we knew about the process of mummification in ancient Egypt. And so Dr. Breyer and his team had a uh, gentleman that was mummified. They did their best to stick to the Egyptian rules for mummification, but they didn't exactly know all the details, so they had to kind of make it up as they went along, sticking best to what they knew from history. And what you'll see in the exhibition is the uh, final part of that process, is a human uh, mummy from 1994 done to ancient Egyptian standards. So in this exhibition, we're going to be talking a lot about uh, real people. We're also going to be talking a little bit about death, and that can be a little disconcerting for some small children. We just recommend that you have a conversation with your family before deciding to come in, because we want to make sure the whole family has a good experience inside the exhibition. We're doing a lot to ensure that everybody has access to this exhibition, but we can keep everybody safe at the same time. Uh, one of the ways that we're doing that is we've reduced our capacity in the exhibition. You can find out more information on our website at slsc.org. I recommend planning ahead this exhibit takes about 30 to 45 minutes to walk through in its entirety, but it is definitely worth that time.